Welcome to lesson four of Green Filing's video training series for e-filing in the California courts. Now that you've learned to e-file new cases and new documents on existing cases, we'd like to demonstrate a third function of the e-filing system that actually allows you to submit your documents to have them electronically served on those service contacts attached to a case, but not file them with the court. In doing so, we'll also review how you can manage service contacts add service contacts, attach and detach them from cases, and then monitor the status of electronic service in green filing. So now that we know how to file new cases, file documents on existing cases, we want to show you this third function where you can actually uh, submit a serve only filing where you are not filing the document with the court, you are simply uh, submitting the document to be served on other parties in the case on those service contacts you've attached to the case. Uh, so before we launch into the process of how to do that I wanted to talk about service contacts for just a moment and how you can manage service contacts on your account also look at cases and uh, manage service contacts um, attached to cases. So the first thing I'd like to do, we've logged into green filing and we're on the dashboard screen. The first thing I'd like to do is point out the settings and service contacts tab. On this tab, you're going to see uh, all the service contacts that have been added to your firm. So all these people are available to be attached to a case um, or to a filing when you submit a new filing. From this screen, you can add, edit, and delete service contacts. Uh, so if you needed to edit one of these contacts, you simply click on the edit. You can change any information about them and then click save. Uh, if you need to delete one, you just click delete and confirm and that removes the service contact. This is important because as you edit and delete service contacts from here, that updates their information throughout the e-filing system. Uh, so any case that they might be attached to, if you update their email address, then um, that will be updated across all those cases. And if you delete them from this screen, then they'll be removed from those cases as well as an available service contact. Now let's jump back to the dashboard screen. And the second thing I want to show you is if you were to bring up a case, how you can add and attach service contacts to a case. Uh, so if I click on one of my cases that I've been working with recently over here on the left, and this will take just one moment to load, we're going to get the latest information from the court. And what you see on this screen when it will load is we have the basic case information, we'll have the parties on the case, and then you'll see a section of the screen for service contacts. In that section, we will see which service contacts are already attached to this case. And then we have the opportunity to add service contacts or remove service contacts from this case. What that does it then is allow you to uh, create a new filing on the case or create a serve only filing on the case. And those service contacts are already available for you to select when you submit your filing. So now that this case is loaded, uh, we can see here uh, we have the basic case information, party information, and here in the middle of the screen we have the service contacts. So these three service contacts are attached to this case. From here I could remove a service contact by checking the box and clicking detach and then confirm that removes them from this case. Or I could add a service contact. So here are the service contacts in my firm. I can add one and attach it to this case. Now you get the option to detach service contacts from a case only if they are service contacts that you have added to the system. This service contact here is one that has been added by some other party or some other filer in the case. So I don't get the option to detach that person from the case, only that person would. Okay, so just wanted to point out how on a specific case you can manage the service contacts available for that case. So now, if you're ready to submit a serve-only filing but not submit it to the court, what we're going to do is on the left-hand side, simply click this Create Serve-Only um, Filing. And this process looks very, very similar to the new filing process, 
on an existing case. In step one, we're just going to select the case that we're going to submit this um, serve only filing on. In step two is where we're going to attach our documents. You'll notice the document type is just set to service only. And then we can type in whatever the description of our documents is. So I like to use the example of discovery documents because maybe we're sharing discovery documents with parties in the case or attorneys in the case, um, but we're not actually filing them with the court. And then I'll browse out to my computer and I'll select this exhibit here. Maybe that's something I need to share. And I'm actually going to select the JPEG version of the exhibit that I have and then click add and upload. And what you'll see is we convert that to a PDF format because that's what's required of the system to be able to share documents. So we've uh, converted that exhibit to a PDF format. Uh, you can add as many documents as you need to. So maybe I have some additional exhibits. I'll just make up a title here, browse out, and I'm just going to select any file here. I'll select the exhibit PDF file this time and then attach that. So you can attach as many service documents as you need to in this process. You do have to indicate which party you represent. So we'll select that party in section three. And then in section four, notice the service contacts that we had attached to this case are available for you to select and submit. Now we default uh, these parties to checked, assuming that you wanna serve all the parties in the case. But you can change that. You can deselect and select the ones that you want to serve. You can also, from this screen, add more contacts. So you see the familiar dialog to add more contacts from your firm, from the public service list, or to add a new contact. Once you've got the contacts that you would like served in place, then you're just going to move to the final step. You can put in your client matter number here and then indicate you verified all the information above is good and you're serving only you will not be filing it with the court and then click sign and serve so at this point again we're wrapping up those documents we're submitting them to the court system where then they generate the emails out to each party uh, with access to each document and again you'll see this envelope number here which means the system has received them to serve to each party So when we submitted this filing, I did select myself as a service contact, which means that I should get an email notification, an electronic service notification, any second here, which provides me a link to access these documents that you've just submitted. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is just jump out to my email. And actually, you can see here uh, I have a new email notification of service for case number 16 CV 0088 which is the case that we just submitted the service only filing on uh, so I'm going to open this email and you can see here there's just some information indicating uh, this is a new service notification on this case here are the documents and then um, indicates also who else was served on this case and then there is a view document link so if I click this view document link, then that will open up that document as a PDF. Uh, and you can see in this case, uh, I had uploaded an exhibit uh, image, a uh, JPEG image that was converted to PDF. So this is just a sample image that I submitted on this filing. But you get the idea that you're able to view the document. And even if it's a, an image that you'd upload, we convert it to PDF and they'd be able to see that image. So that's really nice because um, once somebody has opened the filing, if we come back into uh, green filing, we can actually open up uh, the filing and track uh, the status of who's received and who has opened the documents that they've been served. So if I click on the filing ID to open up this serve only filing, and then I scroll down here to the service contacts section, we can see that for each uh, person, the, each document is listed <clears throat> and then there's an indication of was it sent yes or no in this case it was and then for this last person here we see that this the discovery documents were opened on this date and time so this is a way for you to at any time come back open your serve only filing and find out whether or not those that you sent the filing 
uh, are actually uh, have actually opened it or not. You can also click on this sent link or the open link and what you get is an SMTP uh, server log which is the email server and the log and it's basically just proof that the system did uh, send the email about that filing or that service only filing. So that's a create uh, serve only filing uh, where you can uh, send electronic notification of a document to all the parties on the case but not file it with the court.